What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and have you ever wondered if there was an easy way to add parental controls to your kid's game console, smart TV, tablets, or phones? Well, today we're gonna talk about a cool gadget known as the Circle Home Plus. So it's been a while since I've been this excited about a tech gadget, but I gotta say this is pretty awesome. So this is the Circle Home Plus, a small white cube that plugs into your home network and magically gives you control over the internet on devices in your home. So this little cube does a lot. It lets you block internet access on your kids' devices during bedtime or certain hours, quickly pause the internet on certain devices, see what sites your kids are visiting and block them if necessary, set content filters for both small children as well as teenagers, and it even does location tracking. So unlike parental control apps that you install directly on your kids' devices, the Circle can control any internet device on your network even without ever touching them. This includes smart TVs, laptops, phones, and even game consoles. Okay, so how does this thing work? Well, it uses a method that's used by hackers, which is known as ARP spoofing. Now, I know it sounds bad, but it's actually being used in a good way here. So it basically fools your devices into thinking they're talking to your router when they're really talking to the circle. This makes it a really powerful way to control your devices since pretty much every device on your network can be managed. And Circle claims that any stored data remains on the circle itself, so it's not stored in the cloud, and any connection to Circle servers are encrypted so you don't have to worry about unauthorized access to your data. Okay, so how do you set this thing up? Well, all you do is take it out of the box, plug in the power adapter, and you can either hardwire it into your router using the included ethernet cable, which I would recommend, or you can just connect it to Wi-Fi. But keep in mind that since all of your kids' devices need to communicate with it regularly, it would definitely be best to use the ethernet cable if you can, since you might notice internet slowness if you're connected via Wi-Fi. Once you get your account set up, it'll scan your network for devices and you can assign these devices to profiles that you can give to each kid. So the app is pretty intuitive and the profiles make it easy to manage your kids' devices. It has three different profile options, one for kids, one for teens, and one for adults. And you can easily block or allow specific sites with the flip of a switch. You can pause internet on a specific device, you can pause a child, which will pause all of the devices associated with them, or you can even pause everything if you want. Now, if you're an Apple user, then you're probably thinking I already have access to screen time, which kind of does the same thing. Well, in a sense, you're right, but screen time does have some limitations. The benefit of using the circle is that you're blocking them from accessing the websites that the app uses. So even if they can launch the app, if it requires an internet connection, it's not going to work. Now, I know you're probably thinking there's some simple way for your kid to get around this thing. And believe it or not, it's actually pretty hard to circumvent. For example, let's say your kid figures out that this magical white cube is stopping them from playing Minecraft at 2 a.m. and they decide to unplug it. Well, it has a built-in battery that lasts for about an hour and you get a notification on your phone letting you know that they've unplugged the power. So they think they've won until they get a phone call or text telling them nice try and you can punish them by hitting the pause button. And let's say they unplug the ethernet cable. Well, then it'll switch over to Wi-Fi and continue blocking them. And if you want even more control over your kids' phones or tablets, you can install the Circle Home app on it that forces them to use a circle even when they're on a cellular connection away from the house. And even if they try to turn it off, it just turns itself back on. In other words, there's really no simple way for them to get around it, and you can still control what websites and apps your kids can access no matter where they are, which I have to admit is pretty amazing. So even though the Circle seems like a simple device, it's actually become pretty sophisticated over the years, but it does have some limitations. The first thing is that it can't really control apps that don't use the internet. In other words, it's blocking the internet, but it can't prevent them from launching an app, so it can't stop them from playing Grand Theft Auto on their phone in the middle of the night. So even though the Circle is awesome, I wouldn't recommend using it by itself. As I said earlier, something like Screen Time for iOS or a third-party Android app would be better for blocking the apps altogether, but when it comes to specifically blocking internet access as well as other devices like TVs and game consoles, this is definitely your best bet. All right, so now on to one of the biggest downsides to this device, which is the price and the fact that it requires a subscription. Now, I can't really be mad about the subscription since new websites pop up all the time and Circle has to categorize them so your kids can't access them, but I do wish the subscription was a bit cheaper. 
So at the time of this video, there are three different pricing options. You can get the least expensive option, which is $70 and comes with a three month subscription and costs 10 bucks a month after those three months. You can get the $130 version, which comes with a one year subscription, or you can get the lifetime subscription version for $300 and never have to pay a monthly fee. I was lucky enough to get the lifetime version on sale for $240 on Father's Day weekend with a coupon code, so it does sometimes go on sale. Either way, considering all that this thing does and how it doesn't have much competition, it's kinda hard to beat. I think it's a fantastic device with the recent updates and considering how hard it is for your kids to get around it, it might just be the best parental control device on the market. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification as well as all so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.